morning everybody so we are here at our pickup from in Othello Washington now I'm back here because my freaking GoPro's on a charger and it's pretty much dead so yeah I just got done editing the last the video that you guys will be seeing in tomorrow or whenever not tomorrow probably a couple days from now this is the 20th so it'll be posted on the 21st but we're here um, right now we're waiting we have seven hours and some change on his clock his 14 is about to catch up or he's sitting in there I guess waiting to get the bills and we'll be in Zaruba in the morning which will be the 21st then when we get to Jerupa we gotta drop this load and basically all we're doing is picking up another load that came from this location just a day a day ago or probably will be there today and we're gonna pick it up tomorrow and deliver it in Stockton and then from Stockton we're deadheading all the way to Rancho Cucamonga to pick up on the 22nd to take that load to West Valley City, Utah, because we're going to T call it there, then run to Spring Springville, Utah, pick up a load, and that delivers in Tracy on the 23rd. Something, I don't know. The dates are all screwed up with these loads. Honestly, I don't even know if everything's gonna go as planned because tomorrow's the 21st. They scheduled our other load to pick up on the 22nd, so we won't be in Utah until like early 23rd. And then when we pick up in Utah, I don't see us getting to California until like early 24th or yeah early early 24th but how they got it it's all screwed up I don't even want to make sense of it but other than that we're sitting here I'm sitting here waiting on him which he technically could have had his bills already but instead of him sitting there waiting for the people to show up he walked away so four other guys went in when he walked out so now he's pretty much the last guy. So. Yeah. And if he would have just stayed his ass in there and sat there, which is nice in there. We would have already got our bills. Because there's a guy that went in after he came out. He's already gone. There's another guy. He's already gone. There's like three guys already gone. So I'll see you guys later. Change of plans again. So we did our delivery next door over there. We're still in Stockton. Instead of deadheading to Rancho, we're picking up in Stockton at the craft over here. I'm in line. For some reason today there's so much going on. This load goes to Boise, Idaho at the Linko. And it's supposed to deliver tonight at 8 o'clock. It is 11.45 California time. Yeah, it's not going to get there on time, but yeah, we'll see what happens. And then we got more, another load. Deadhead to Utah, pick up a load. still taking us it's a sit and wait deal 
so now we just have to sit and wait what up everybody we're here at our pickup i didn't get up until 9 30 10 o'clock took off from boise idaho or boise idaho and we're in the name that i had in my head not no more we're at Maricote in Clearfield, Idaho. We just got to drive three miles down the road to deliver at 10 o'clock. And it's already 6 o'clock. We've been here since 3 o'clock. So tomorrow we pick up at the same location here at 7 o'clock. And then we head to Phoenix. So I'll holler at you guys later. so we got unloaded if you seen there is a line going into Smith's and it's been like that for going on three hours now uh, the entrance is backed up all the way to well you guys seen it and plus going the opposite way you got trucks waiting too now I'm on my phone recording because this damn thing doesn't want to freaking cooperate right now but I came to the truck stop real quick. I ended up running in there to get Taco Bell. Um, I could have got fuel, but I just don't want to do that today. I'll do that tomorrow. And as I went in there, my student decided to go and take a sh He asked me if we're shutting down here. And I was like, there's no parking here. Because he's been asking me all day. He's like, where are we going to park at? I was like, right where we're at when we're getting loaded. And I was like, why? Oh, just well, I was just wondering. So we get here, and he's asking, are we going to park here? And I'm like, no, we're parking at the shipper. Oh, well, I'm going to run and go take a shower. Fuel Island. The only thing why I'm not irritated and getting real pissed off is because it's dead right now. I already got my talk about we've been here for about 18 minutes. So, other than that, um, we actually, it took me literally an hour and a half to get into a door. So, once we made that left turn, it literally took us an hour and a half to get in the door. So, alright, it decided to work. So, once we got in the door... Or once we got to the doors, I called, because it was Frozen Department, I called Frozen, left a message, and then the guy came out. Because I told him I was going to back in the back up and sit in door 9. And he's like, you put your paperwork in the back, blah, blah. And I'm like, dude, I just called you guys, left a message, said I was going to park here and wait for you. So, he got us in and out within an hour and a half. So, can't complain. Um, it's going on 1 o'clock right now. We pick up at 7 o'clock. So, most likely, I'm the one that's going to be waking up, checking in, and making sure we get in the door. But, um, yeah, we'll just 
just gonna go over there, shut her down. I got an hour and 57 minutes before I run out of hours. And other than that, I've been working my clock pretty dang good today. Even though we're literally down the street. But I took, I drove 20 minutes to come to the truck stop, so it's whatever. Um, so we'll be headed and we'll be in Phoenix tomorrow night. Depending on what time we leave, we should be in Phoenix tomorrow night. And, or not tomorrow. Today is the 23rd, so we'll be there tonight on the 23rd. So, yeah, I'm hoping we could T call this load in the yard or something because it delivers on the 24th at 1500, but then I have a pickup that delivers on freaking the 25th which I really don't want to freaking do I already said I don't want to be driving home on the 25th I want to be driving home on the 24th and of course I have a student so they give me a load that delivers on the 24th so anyways I'm waiting on him and <clears throat> yeah but if I didn't mention it we ended up switching everything because I was supposed to be going to Rancho and blah 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 coming up here and so on and so forth. So everything switched because the driver needed to get home, family emergency, that's the only time I will not get frustrated or pissed off. If you if there's a driver that had a load and then he ended up going home for a family emergency and they you they asked me to cover a load. I won't get pissed off about it. It'll irritate. But in all respect, if a driver needs to get home and see his family or do what he needs to do with his family, I won't trip. I'll help out, be a whatever, what you want to call it, and cover the load for the company. So that's why things switched again. But we're still getting it done. We're still moving, we're still getting miles, so yeah, you guys, I will see you guys shortly, and yeah. Good morning everybody, we are back here at the truck stop, I'm stopping to get fuel, and gonna scale out, um, I, I did get up this morning at about 6, 6.30, I fully got up to go check in, and... I checked in, got a door, backed into the door, and waited. I laid back down and waited for an hour until they came out and opened the doors and had me back in. And then another hour or so later, finally got loaded. So I did all the stuff this morning. And now once we scale out and see where we're at, he's gonna drive so yeah technically when you're in training the student does all this but since he has since it is what it is I'm just trying to get shit done and going so see you guys shortly